Welcome back everyone for Retro Scams. We're going to go over Pokemon Crystal in this one. We will go over silver and gold in different videos, but we're going to start with Crystal for this generation. So luckily with Crystal, it's pretty easy to tell right away which one the fake one is. You have this like cheap blue see-through um, cartridge with a very small board on there. And that's the fake one the real one it's a full-size board see-through it has like glittery effects good quality and everything because for a moment here based on comments on the nintendo 64 one we should probably cover a couple things about these counterfeit products so first off i'm no legal expert so what i say is not legal advice um i just googled some stuff and tried to figure a few things out but these counterfeit games it is illegal to traffic them, so like producing them, transporting them, selling them, that is illegal. So like anyone selling them on eBay, selling them on Facebook Marketplace, they're actually breaking federal law by doing that. So purchasing one of these games, if it's for your own personal use, seems to be an area where it's okay to knowingly purchase a counterfeit item. Now one area that I haven't been able to find, I know there's different laws pertaining like IP and copyright and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if any of those other laws will cause differences for what's allowed and what's not. But just know that as far as the counterfeit laws that are out there are, definitely if you produce, sell, or transport these, then that is illegal. And the way people get away with this is they'll have, like, in China or other countries, people will make these. And, of course, they have no quality control. That's why, for the most part, quality of the reproductions is garbage. Uh, you can play the game. There's a chance you can save. A lot of times the save games will corrupt it. In some of the Pokemon games, you can't get past the Elite Four. So, I mean, there's just different things that can happen with the game where it's not exactly how you want it if you're getting the reproduction. But then the other issue you run into is Pokemon Crystal, you get a legit version of it. It's like $120, $130. This little uh, garbage counterfeit is about $4. So it's one of the things where $4, you can play a game, there's a chance you can play the full thing, and you're saving quite a bit of money compared to the real one. And I know that's where a lot of the debate comes for in the comments and just online in general. And then the other thing that the, um, like the customs and border patrol of them, what they talk about is when you're buying these counterfeit products, there's a chance that they may be using like child labor or like bad working conditions, even like other type of illegal criminal activity, well, other than illegally making these games, there's other criminal activities they could be involved in to get everything done for these. So the boring part out of the way, how about the fun part? So when we're comparing the outsides of these, as normal, the real one is going to have a little stamp on it with a number, which this one has the number 19 stamped on it. It could be a different number for whatever version of Pokemon Crystal you're looking at, but yeah, this one has a 19. The fake one does not have any numbers stamped on it. And I mentioned in other ones, I don't really get into labels that much, but uh, if you really need to compare a label, you can go to pricecharting.com and actually look up what's on the label just to get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Because a lot of times the coloring will be off on there. Looks like Pokemon Crystal's label, the legit one, has a lot more of like a silvery shine to it. And then the fake one has a lot more of a blue shine to it. Can't really show it that well on the camera, I don't think, but you may be able to see that. And then the top part here, it's Game Boy Color, and it's sticking out on there. And for the fake one, it says Nintendo Game Boy, and it's indented on there. Then not paying attention to the boards, just looking at the back of these, there's that very annoying tri-wing screw in the fake one, and then the normal uh, bolt inside the real one. And it's a little tougher to tell because these are see-through cartridges, 
but the fake one on the top has that one gap in there where you can actually see like all the circuit board and everything uh, directly through there. It doesn't have a full seal across there. And then what's visible from the board for the real version, look for the big battery because that's one of the giveaways. The fake one, of course, the board doesn't take up the whole thing, doesn't have a battery. So look for a battery, a board that takes up the full thing. And then from what you can see through the case on the back, you have those four rectangles like you have on all the other ones. And then this one is just kind of a boring back of a, of a chip. And then let's pop these things apart and take a look at the chip a little closer. Make sure you are grounded out if you are handling a chip of an electronic. So the screws out of them, they both slide down the same and pop open. So we'll take a look at the fake one really fast. It's just that small board doesn't really have much to it because it's using uh, flash storage for storing the ROM on there. So it doesn't really need all those big things on it because newer technology than decades ago. So I mean, even though it is fake, it is still amazing, like the technology that goes into this. That's still pretty cool about how this is able to be built and the game stored on it that was made such a long time ago. And then the real one has that nice big battery on it. And then since this was made for Game Boy Color, it's gonna be a little bit different than the other Game Boy ones. If you look on there, CGB Byte. And then I'm not sure if this is zooming in well enough on it, but that top chip has CGB Byte on it also. And then that's it for the front of the board. So then on the back of the board, definitely look for Nintendo and those four rectangles there. And this is something funny, that's actually an aftermarket battery on there. These are supposed to have the CR2025s, but that's a CR2032 on there. Which doesn't really make a difference, it's going to work the same, it's just someone at some point changed the battery on this one. So now the fun part, we get to test them out. We have the real one in the Super Game Boy, and the fake one in the Game Boy Color. And Super Game Boy should behave a certain way based on it being a Game Boy Color game. Okay, so yeah, we got the correct message for the real one with the Game Boy Color. That the uh, Super Game Boy wasn't actually made for using Game Boy Color games. So let's see if we get the same result for the fake one inside the Super Game Boy. And then the real one in the Game Boy Color. Yeah, so as far as the hardware is concerned, they are the exact same things. Now as far as the Super Game Boy, it does work with some Game Boy Color games like the black cartridge ones, but ones that are made specifically for Game Boy Color, it will not work with them. But as always, I'm sure there are some exceptions. So then since the Super Game Boy didn't work, just being tested out on this hardware, we're going to put the real one into the Game Boy Player for the GameCube and see what happens. So there we go, looks like the real one loads up just fine in there. And then we will swap in for the fake one. So as far as this hardware is concerned also, it's the exact same game. So I hope this was helpful to you in determining which ones are real, which ones are fake. Also, just remember, I am not a legal expert, so that the uh, legal information I shared in the beginning may or may not be fully accurate. It is uh, just what I found by doing some quick Googling about the uh, whole topic. And if you have any questions or if there's anything that I may have missed with testing it, then please let me know in the comments. Also, please subscribe if you have not. Leave a thumbs up, do all that kind of fun stuff. I will be putting some shorts out pretty soon about these uh, repros and everything. Just seeing seeing if you're able to do any trading like between this or the real one, or even seeing if you can transfer save data from a real one to a fake one. Probably try a few other things like using uh, Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Stadium 2 to uh, 
test out to see if those games think they're legit also. Try a whole bunch of stuff, and then probably in the end, just because I don't want them circulating, I'll just destroy the fakes. So, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.